Fun fact, I was only kicked out of the Gaussian Partnership Program this week, but it's been reinstated, so hopefully things are looking uh, and turning a new leaf. Anyway, new update, new, new period, basically nothing worthwhile content for World War II. Except for this beautiful bastard. This is the French heavy tank. It's bigger than a mouse. Anyway. I will say that the new map is looking absolutely fantastic. This is the winterized version of Poland. And yes, the ice is frozen over. You can drive over it. Come here, mate. You're gone. And whilst top tier is all the rage at the moment, I consider it to be a waste of time. Three minute matches where you are, you know, facing basically ace combat level of player interaction and well low tiers isn't any better because obviously close air support but <sighs> come here bitch all right got him so yeah like this the machine is incredibly funky it's it reminds me of a churchill in a way this is one of the french heavy tanks i'm glad it's you know been added to war thunder specifically because well Ah, uh, you never know what's going- Oh, hello. Bonk. Alright, who's next? I swear we have another couple of visitors. This thing is so slow. Ah, oh, more cash. Predictable. Of course, this thing is a lumbering tard. Which means that- it, oh, I overestimated that shell. Which means that you're basically gonna get killed, no matter which way you play- What's he doing? What's this guy doing? I have no idea what this Panzer is doing. <laughs> Welcome to low tier. You know, if, it's if it was a top tier, I'd already be dead. What's he doing? Is he hiding from someone? Oh, well, he's... Oh, not again. Bugger off, BT. Bugger off. Oh, Panzer three decided to actually finally shoot me. And because this thing's only got a relatively weak armament all around, it's... Quite interesting. Oh, come on knocked out base at all my crew. I've only got five crew members left out of the 12 that was here. Oh, hello. He thinks I'm critical, doesn't he? <laughs> Rip. Alright, there we go. Easy dirt machine. Anyway, MiG-29. Incredibly hard to, you know, compete against F-16s and F-14s. F-14s at the moment are definitely easy mode with AIM-7s. Basically, players are launching them with the new radar changes as well. It makes for the MiG-29 a incredibly... What's aim about there? An incredibly annoying experience. And having played a load of matches, the MiG-29 is utterly unusable. It just, it just gets absolutely trampled on. With the amount of premiums that are also out and about floating around, people are not having any of it. And all the tryharders are out uh, just having a bunch of fun. And the F-14 is once again doing what F-14 does, and just BVR goes whoosh. So, if you like three-minute matches, where you, you can't climb to altitude and you can't use your missiles, and your R-27s, you know, are actually eating flares, and you've got R-60Ms, then the MiG-29 is for you. And if you're in a mirage, well, good luck surviving the onslaught of BVR, because, again, you only have a limited amount of armament, which means you can't really do anything. So it's 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 a lose lose situation. Hold on, I'm about here. Ah, well that works. Interesting, very very interesting. Right, who else? So you know, look, I'm not saying it, it is to be expected what it is, but oh hang on, we've got some bombs incoming. Another vehicle over here. I heard a vehicle. Oh, there you are. Hello, Italian thing. Well, not an Italian thing anymore. Goodbye, M13. Essentially, top tier has become the bane of everybody's existence. And if you... I, I, I played one match and, and one instantly in an F16, so I got three kills on that particular round. You know, I don't think there's any element of skill anymore. Uh, there they, they kind of is. You have to be on your toes all the time now in order to play top tier. And while, uh, you know, I'm complaining about top tier, this vehicle's been immensely fun just to sort of rattle around in. On the same map again. Oh, hello. Goodbye. That poor PT-7M was going to wreck some people's day. There's a couple other tanks. Let's just sit here and wait. You never know what will come around the corner. Sorry, my Discord's going off again. Ooh. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Goodbye. Alright, so SU-85 looking thing. The SU-122, those things are lethal as all hell. Oh, shit. Alright, well, he's decided to back up because he's got about as long as reload as I do, except that I was already mid-reloading anyway, so we should be able to shoot there. Overpressure right there with the big shell that we have. Triple strike, not bad. M22's gone up a bit and he's uh, being a bit adventurous around there. This essentially is their spawn as well, so... I don't know, will we get around the corner? Like, like, don't get me wrong, this char was interesting, but it's one of the only interesting things out of this update, aside from the Italian bread truck, or, well, basically a, a flatbed with an M16 mount uh, strapped into the back. And you can't really use that to destroy tanks, per se. You can run around capturing points and being obnoxious as all hell, but it's not really a mainstay of content. I understand the focus was on top-tier jets, but... I'm just, I'm just not enjoying the top tier jets at the moment. It's it's not a fun experience if you're playing any other nation, but, you know, ones that have, you know, beyond visual range missiles. Oh. Hello. There we go. Ah, bugger, I'm in their spawn. Right, avoiding their spawn was a good idea and totally didn't die. No, no, no. So instead, we're going to dance... We're going to miss our shot. And you see that little marker? There's a, there's a new little marker in Ground Forces now. It tells you where you got critically damaged from. At least a, a hint indication marker. Well, we're going to play Ring Around the Bros. See if we can actually kill this guy. It's a problem with these lumbering land ships. So sometimes they don't really work in their intended roles. So look, I can just see him skirting around. to the pixels moving there. And he's thinking as being clever. Little guy. Got to back up. Best thing we can do in this scenario is just back up. Let's see if we can hit him with a machine gun. No. Okay. Again, because he's only got like a couple of crew. So he might be able to pen us. Yeah, no. I'm down to uh, nine crew members now. And uh, that thing's incredibly funny to sort of sort of look at. Apparently in the dev tree of a lot of dev tees, and apparently in the Christmas teaser there's a, a version of this one with a 75 mil gun. Only a hit! Are you kidding me? That should have killed him! Oh god, we're gonna go play circus. Let's see if we can get him with a re-machine gun. Come on. Nope, this is not working. Come on. Hit him. Critical hit. Okay, we've knocked out his... Look at his gunner, he's going to be backing up. We're still reloading, we've got 14 seconds on the repair. I, I just, uh, this may be the very best piece of content that they've added this year. I, I kid you not. I mean, the SU-25 was nice. We had the A-10 earlier this year. We had the SU-25. We also had the, the, the F-14 last year. I'm not even sure if it was last year at this point. It just becomes a massive blur. I've been playing this game for a very, very long time. Come on. Back up. I just need to get the guns on. All he has to do is keep driving forward. Yeah, no. He's, he's, he's toast. But yeah. This thing is incredibly long. It's a bit, a bit of a battle barge, I reckon. Good fun. But incredibly uh, just derpy. And... Oh, no, no more gas. Oh, it's a potest. I thought it was a Stuka. Uh, but yeah, five kills. A uh, couple of matches in this thing. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not great. People know how to kill it now because its side skirts are incredibly weak. But if you're frontal on, you usually got a little bit more armor. So do take it in its stride. It's, it's a very interesting machine that I think a lot of people will actually enjoy. So, you know, it, it's longer than the mouse. It's a bit of a behemoth. It's a... Uh, World War interwar sort of program tank slash late World War One vehicle. So, again, it's just one of those things. But guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I, I have no idea whether I'll continue making content until the New Year's. I, I'd love to make videos on some of the top tier stuff, but I'm just not enjoying it. And I'm incredibly burnt out in War Thunder as is recently. So, let me know what types of content I should produce then instead. Uh, but yeah, that's been the Char 2 and... And let me know what your favorite thing of this update has been in the comments down below. Again, if you want to buy those stupid $70 premiums, there's a link in the description to save you a couple of bucks. Go do so there. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.